Hey YouTube, it's John coming back with you. Uh, I know I'm kind of always done nano tanks, but I'm going to do a new tank. I'm going to start up. This is a 46 gallon bow front, and it was my old reef setup when I was in high school. And I'm going to restart it, but I'm going to learn take everything that I've learned from all my nano tanks and apply it to this. I'm going to be drilling the back of the aquarium, probably in the middle. I'm going to be using this piece of acrylic, which if you reckon, kind of recognize it, it's from my other, uh, my refugium sump and my nano, aqua a nano aquarium. So that's going to be my overflow. I'm going to have two returns. I'll explain everything later. Quick thing, if you're, I have, I'm going to be using an LED system it's a 150 watt led system it's a three watt led crees and that's going to be doing the bulk of the uh lighting but it's a small unit and since it's small it's going to be right in the middle of the tank and that middle piece right there is going to be in the way so what i plan on doing is cutting this piece of acrylic and cutting this out and putting attaching the acrylic to here. So, one thing about this aquarium it was so old, I was worried about the uh worried about the joints. So, what I did, I'll kind of explain what I'm going to do about resealing an aquarium and I'll do a I'll do a video on it because I haven't put the silicone in, but I've already taken out the old silicone. So, um, I'll explain more when I make the video on resealing the aquarium, but just to give you a quick quick overview, um, we'll go back here. The whole reason I'm doing this tank is because I just want a bigger system and I want to apply everything that I've learned and make a really, really cool, cool tank that's a little bit bigger and suits my needs. There's the hood or the glass top for the for the uh, 46 bow front and I'm going to be using to this I think it's a 72 watt it's power compact it's got some moonlights and stuff on it because the LED doesn't have any but I'm going to use be using that for supplemental light not sure if I'll need it but that should work and then for the stand I'm going to be making a custom stand this was the old stand that it sat on and as you see it has stuff in the middle right there. But what I do have is a broken down cabinet that was for my 29 gallon fresh water, which I'm actually going to be using that tank for the sump. But this cabinet, obviously the sump won't fit under there. So what I'm going to do is break apart all this and I'm going to fuse it with that and I'm going to use probably that 2x6 right there to make a header at the top of here, but it's going to be taller and everything will be able to fit under there. It'll be nice and sturdy without that middle piece and all my goodies will be able to fit under there and it's free. So I told my wife that I was going to do this, but I was going to do it as cheap as possible. So tune in and subscribe and tell me what you think and I'll let you know there's some of my supplies that I'm getting ready. Let me know what you think and if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Until next time, thanks.